Hey everyone, Josh here with another Nintendo Labo video for you. I hope you've brought your life jackets, because this time we're going fishing with the Toy-Con Fishing Rod. I've spent the good part of an hour just trying to work out the best way to film this one, because the Toy-Con Fishing Rod is one of the more uh, extravagant contraptions within the variety pack. So um, you can see that I've got the fishing rod here with my Joy-Cons inside it, which you can uh, reel around to pull your rod in. I've got this big line of string attached to it which comes down into this little box that I've got the console attached to. And so if I move my fishing rod you can see the hook on the game going up and down. And I can also use my reel to um, go deeper in the water and to eventually catch my fish. But uh, I just wanted to show you this setup before I go into a more simple um, Set away from the docked mode TV setup, because <laughs> um, this the way this string sort of lines up with what's in the game is really cool, and it sort of gives this more um, visceral nature to it, I guess. And it's not you're not just dangling this um, lifeless peripheral around; You've, it's actually got some weight to it because there's like this complex um, reel system inside there that pulls the rope back the second you lax it. So it feels like you've actually got something dangling from your rod and it is really cool. Um, so I'll get set up um, in docked mode so that I can actually play this <laughs> and um, you'll be able to watch the recording um, in much better quality than <laughs> me holding a camera in front of the screen. So um, I'll see you guys in a second when I show you how this game actually works. Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, so I've got a more traditional setup now with the switch running in docked mode and I'm sitting over here with my little pretend fishing rod which is really cool. Um, I just love all these little controllers I've set up. Uh, they're just so fun to use. Uh, I've just really wanted to emphasize the really complex setup that you've got in the fishing rod pack. Uh, the console sits in that little stand that I was showing you before which has this little kind of pulley reel system in it that um, pulls back on the rod whenever you let it loose. And it gives it this weightiness and verisimilitude that a regular plastic peripheral doesn't have. And I just love how complex these things are. Like you can extend and collapse the rod, you can reel it in, and it even makes a little clicking noise. I'm not sure if you can hear that. Uh, and then we've got that whole pulley system and everything. And despite all this, it's really simple to put together. And at the end of it, you just kind of sit down and you're like, wow, I made this, this is really cool. <laughs> and I, I would not have been able to do this normally. <laughs> I'm not a really handy person at all. So um, yeah, it's really cool to be able to do this. Uh, there's one other thing I wanted to make, that's right. Uh, so what I really like about this, um, the regular setup where you've got the console and the little stand, is that it's so flexible in how you want to play. If you want to stand up, you can set it down on the floor, play like that. You can sit down, have it on a table across from you. Uh, yesterday I was kind of lying back on the lounge and holding it in my feet and <laughs> watching movies while I'm also playing this game. And um, it's really cool like that. Um, like normally these motion control games, you know, they kind of expect you to accommodate them. You know, or v even VR and Kinect and that kind of thing. You've got to make space for them, but this kind of fits in the way that you want to play it. Uh, so I'm going to jump in, work out the controls. Hang on. It always assumes that you've got the Joy-Con uh, holding it regularly, but um, this is far from regular. It's hard to adjust the directions. Uh, so yeah, I can move my rod around, the little rod's dangling. And so, we start off, just going to angle it there, you move it side to side, and you just got to wait for something to hook on. And now there's the various depths of the ocean as well, I've got the regular ocean here, and we can go down even further, hey Mr. Stingray, there's another little fishy there, well this one looks like you might be interested. Come on. Alright, we've got it! Then you've got to reel it in as quick as you can. But you've got to watch out because the fish are going to move from side to side. Ah, oh. Yeah, <laughs> I pulled it the wrong way. Um, I, was, 
I think I was playing some other fishing game where you've got to pull against the fish, but in this one, you've got to pull with the fish. Oh, here we go, I think we've got another bite. We got him! Alright, that's a really min, and we got him! Woohoo! Red sea brim, 63 centimeters. And so, <laughs> it takes a photo based on where on the screen you actually pull it up. And so we got him right at the top, so you've only got his little tail there. But um, it logs all the fish that you catch in each session. And later on I'll show you the aquarium mode where every fish you catch full stop is stored for you to look at. Oh, I've got a big one. Alright, let's get him. Come on. Come on. Oh no. <laughs> I'm not very good at this one. You don't get much guidance other than... Um, Go with the fish. Come on, buddy. You know you want it. It's good. Come on. Come on. Yeah, alright. Woohoo! Extra large red sea brim. And that's bigger than our old record. So we've got a much better picture of that one. <laughs> Make sure that the thing is in the frame so you can actually see it. Uh, let's go all the way down to the bottom where all the creepy stuff waits. It's, it's a lot harder to get the fish down here because um, you've got to maintain that line for a much longer period of time. So you've got to keep in line with the fish. I think you gotta slow down as well. Slow and steady. Oh no, see, it's really hard. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's because the game is just not well designed or if I'm not good at it. I haven't been able to get any of the deep sea fish yet. I've mostly just been sticking at the top where I can pretend that I'm really good. I'm trying to get in a more comfy position here. I had a shark bite onto it once. Um, I didn't react fast enough to even be able to reel it in. But that was really exciting. actually have this band. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, honestly. <laughs> I spent a fair bit of time with it and I just cannot get any of this fish. I don't know if you've got to like slow down or oh, I don't know. Come on, someone. this time just to get a tiny little fish. I want something cool and something freaky you only see down the bottom of the sea. Alright, let's go. Let's try taking it slow this time. Actually, when I slowed down, it started flickering. Oh, so maybe you've got to stop if it starts flashing until you're in line with the fish. Okay, yep, I think, we, I think we might be onto something here. I'm just going to stop reeling when bad things start happening. Okay, yeah, no, no, I think we have it. Oh my gosh, I think we're going to, I think we're going to get this guy. Come on, come on, be my little buddy. It'll be great, we can be little buddies. Yes, and we got him! Atlantic football fish, 48 centimeters. I've got it now. Thanks, guys. You helped me. All right, now I'm going for the big game. I want a shark. We're we're keeping this video going until I come home with a shark. I'm not going to work tomorrow if I don't get this shark. Come on, come on, buddy. Come on, come on, Sharky. Come on.
Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> you know you want it. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> to break oh no way uh, I couldn't see what was going on <laughs> he takes up the whole screen oh my goodness so you can get the shark I have proof that you can actually hook in the shark I didn't just make that up come on I can't end on a loss we've got to get something we've got to get something So it's not a matter of just doing this quickly as you can. You're able to slow down and kind of take it at your own pace in order to get these fish when they're moving. Okay, I get it now. I was kind of iffy on this one because of... Oh, I'm <laughs> getting distracted. But, uh, I'm not going to end on a loss. I've got to catch something. And I kind of... I, I get it now. I get why I'm losing. It makes more sense. So um, now we're going to jump into a different mode, which also makes use of the... F Actually, you don't even need to use the fishing rod, but you need to use the fishing rod in order to catch the fish to put into the aquarium mode, which we're going to jump into next. And that lets you look at all your fish that you've caught, and also has something really interesting you can do with one of the other toy cons. So I'll see you guys in a second. Welcome back, everyone. Um, I'm going to jump into what's called the aquarium mode now. And so what this does is it lets you look at all the fish that you've caught. Like, we, now, I think we just caught that one, didn't we? And, yeah, so we definitely caught him. Um, the Atlantic football fish. You can zoom out, take a look at them all. They just swim around, bean fish, do what fish do. Hang on, what's that one? We did not catch the Josh tail. What is that? And why does it have my name? That's weird. Well, what you can actually do in this mode is use a different Toy-Con to do something really cool. And that Toy-Con is the Toy-Con Piano. Now, I'm, I'm going to go into the piano's actual game later on because just like all of the other Toy-Con, the piano has its own separate mode that you can dig into. Uh, but you can also use it in the aquarium of all things. So what we're going to do... Uh, the fishing kit comes with an extra card, which you can use as a stencil to draw around on a piece of paper or cardboard or whatever. And then once you've drawn that shape on the paper, you can cut it out and cut some weird shapes into it. And I've drawn some really, really weird shapes here. And what you can do is you can feed those shapes into the printer, uh, into the, um, the piano. And sort of like a printer, it feeds in, you push the button, it reads what you fed into it, and it'll turn it into a fish. So, let's get this set up, shall we? I don't want to lose on my paper. Let's see what kind of horrible, horrible monstrosities we come up with here. Let's scan a card. Okay, first, I've got to get my right Joy-Con, because it uses the infrared camera. So I need to get that set up here. In a moment. Okay, that's clicked into place. So let's put the first of my cards in. Make sure it's in view. It's a bit harder when it's paper. It says you can do it with paper there. Yeah, nice and easy. And so it sits on top. Push the button. It's vibrating, like it's actually scanning it. And see, it shows up. It's so cool. That's the shape that I cut out. It turns into a little fishy. Uh, did they use this? Yes. So you can put the eye wherever you want. And I'm pretty sure if you use the other bits and bobs that the piano has, 
you can actually change the colors and shape of it. Where should we put this eye? Let's give him let's give him one big one in the middle of his head. Just want to move that into position. It's a lot easier with the touch screen, I'll say that much. There we go. The Josh fish. Okay, so the Toy-Con Piano comes with these little dial things that you can push into it and do some cool stuff. And I remember reading in the tutorial somewhere that you can use those to customize your fish. I can't remember how exactly. I think I've got to do it during the scanning process. I can hear it doing things in here through the rumble. Um, so I guess I've got to do that either during the scanning process or when I'm putting the eyes on. So let's give another one a go. That's not what I want. There we go, scan the fish. Okay, let's put some of my weirder ones in now. Nice and easy so it doesn't get torn. And I'm gonna chuck in let's chuck in dial number two. See what happens when I push it. Fishy fishy fishy. Got him. That doesn't look like what my drawing is. Oh, okay, so don't know if you can see it, but part of my drawing comes above the line. Now I didn't think about that when I was drawing it, so it just kind of cuts it off halfway. And even then it still looks kind of weird. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, here you go. So I'm twisting the knob, that's twisting the pattern. Might be able to put different colours in maybe? Okay, different knob. Oh, there we go. Look at that, that's like a little gradient. It's still the same kind of colours though, I'm not sure if I can actually change that somehow. Oh, there we go, got some stars. How about we just push some buttons on this thing? Oh, there we go, we've got a lever on the side. That zooms the pattern in and out. Works so. That seems to invert the colours. Well, there we go. Push the keys on the piano. And they each give a different one. Uh, how do I do the patterns again? So, that was when I changed the knobs, wasn't it? The polka dots. I like that gradient. What was that, number one? Yeah, alright. So let's change the different colours in here. What do you reckon? Maybe a black and purple. Okay, we get a black. A okay, purple. <laughs> now we need the black. Now we've got the black. Now can shift the balance between the two. Get like a nice little subtle shade of purple there. What did this one do again? Can't remember. Oh, that inverted the colours, didn't it? I like it like that. Okay, let's pop his eye on somewhere. Give him a cute little eye. And the... Yeah. The Josh's angelfish came to life. Oh, look at him, he's so cute. Right, let's pop on some of my other designs. Which one's better? I think one of my other ones is going to have the same problem. This one should be fine. But the other one comes a bit above that cutoff line. Ooh, and this one cuts it really close. We'll see how that goes. Open the scanner mode. Quick! See if you guys can hear that. Ah, cut off. <laughs> Next one. 
this is cool. <laughs> they look so derpy. Um, patterns is bad. Let's go with some stars. Aim for one or two really big stars. Anyway. Oh, lined up with his fin up there, that would be cool. Yeah, lined up just like that. Let's make him red and <laughs> make him look like the Pixar ball. <laughs> down because the shaking from my hand is making the knob shake a little. Let's put his eye in the middle of the star, that will be really weird. The Josh Finn came to life! Rise! And I've got one more, which I don't know how it's going to turn out. This is the weirdest one, I just put like horns and fins all over it. And it's, it comes across um, the little cutoff line. So I have no idea what's actually going to happen to this one. Try to fit it in without tearing it. Yeah, definitely try to use cardboard for these cards if you can. Can you hear that? It's like a real scanner, it's so cool. <laughs> oh, I cut bits of it off. It had this really cool horn on the side of it. I need to look into why some parts aren't showing up. <clears throat> I know some of it's because it goes too tall. So it gets cut off because you can see it poking above here. But all of them seem to come out looking really cut in half. <laughs> Not sure why that is. Hmm. Anyway. What if we got? Let's... What's this one? You get some lines, maybe make them diagonal. Well, let's make him look like a bumblebee or something. Yeah, black and yellow. Little bumblebee. Yay! Let's put the eye at the back. That'll be crazy. <laughs> the Josh Jr. The most ugly one is the Josh Jr. Really? Alright then. So I'm not sure what you can actually do with the fish after you've got them in here. I don't. I think you just look at him. <laughs> My baby! Look at him, he's beautiful! I think I just like shake it. It doesn't seem to really do much apart from that. What about if I pull my right joy con out? Does that do anything? No, it seems to be just, you look at him and that's it. But that'll be fun for the kids, I guess. Get them to come up with whatever crazy designs they want. And then watch them come to life. And you could fill out like this whole aquarium just with <laughs> really funny looking designs. And I want a shark in here one day. <laughs> oh, we got so close to that shark, didn't we? Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much all there is to see within the fishing rod games. You've got the main fishing game and you've got the aquarium. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little look at that. And if you want to see the other Toy-Cons as I put them together, then make sure to subscribe to the Vox channel because there is much, much more coming, and I'm going to try and dig into the Joy-Con, Toy-Con Garage as well, which is where you can program your own games and toys and whatever you want. So, yeah, make sure to subscribe to catch all that when it comes out, and until next time, see ya!